friends and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome i'm so glad to have you my name is kat and i am a flight attendant with a major u.s airline so i'm sure y'all can hear it and y'all can see it before i even say it but i am sick once again once again i'm sick i just i i cannot if y'all don't know i am just now getting over covid i i think i was only over covid for like a week or two and I'm already sick again. And that was like, I don't wanna say it was the least of everything going on, but it was the least of everything going on. I'm pretty, I'm pretty darn sure. I'm pretty darn sure because if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, please just go watch these two videos for context because you guys lately, <laughs> lately it has just, it's just, it, it has, it, it has, it ha I just, I, I'm losing words at this point. So obviously I'm just feeling my absolute best. I'm feeling like like a, a national treasure, like Nicolas Cage is just gonna come in at any point looking for me. But yeah, this video was supposed to be something completely different. I was actually gonna be doing like an Amazon like fall winter clothing haul with you guys and sharing a lot of like new stuff that I got and then also some of my favorites that I'm still obsessed with. But um, obviously when you don't look and feel your best, the last thing you wanna do is like get up on camera and just be like, hey, <laughs> I'm not in the mood. I'm not in the mood, I won't lie to you, I'm not in the mood. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this in a different direction and I'm just gonna do like like an unboxing with you guys of some of the stuff I got. But also you guys, I do wanna give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Factor. They have been by my side through this whole thing. They have been such a supporter and a sidekick to me and I just love them so much for that. If you do not know who Factor is. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever this holiday season or any season for that matter by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. They have a weekly menu of over 35 meals that are flavor packed that promote a healthy lifestyle and meet your meal preferences all ready to eat within two minutes. And you can also relish in the best of autumn with their fall flavors on their limited time only hearty comforting meals featuring seasonal veggies like cranberry pecan chicken and apple Dijon pork chops that'll satisfy your fall cravings during the busy season without the hassle. And not only has Factor helped me stay on track with my health and fitness goals, but they've also simplified my life and made it so easy and I'm forever grateful, especially around the holiday season where things get really busy. It's ready to go in like two minutes right in the microwave and I just have the best meal. Sorry you guys, I could not wait. This is so good. The meal I'm having today is the tomato goat cheese cavatappi primavera with roasted garlic green beans. This is one of their vegetarian meals and the cavatappi, like the pasta, is actually a cauliflower pasta. It's so good. I normally have the meals with the meat and I try to look for their protein plus meals, but I got this one and it was so good that every time I see it on the menu now, I'm like, oh, I have to have it. It's so creamy and the flavor is just bomb. Mm. And this one also has nine grams of fiber in it as well. And if you guys would also like to try Factor out this holiday season, you're in luck because right now, if you go to factor75.com or use the link down below and use code catnesbit 50 you'll get 50% off your entire Factor box. Once again, thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. But also while I do this unboxing, I just kind of want to chitty chat with you guys, just talk to you guys about how, how things have, have just been I've just been going, I've just been going. I've been doing a lot more update videos because I feel like there's a lot more to update you on. There's been more roller coasters going on than at Six Flags basically. So anyways, we're just gonna chit chat while while I unbox everything. So I guess let's, let's start here first. One of the good things though that I do wanna chat with you guys about is that before I actually did get sick, I have been um, switching my diet into more of an anti-inflammatory diet and I've also been trying to go more gluten free. I'm not 100% yet with it, but that's definitely, I've been progressing and I've been very, very, very good about it. And I, and I talked to you guys more in, in this video about it, but I have been going more in that direction to try to get my rheumatoid arthritis to chill. And some of you guys, ooh, ooh, I love these, you guys. I forgot I ordered these. This, this was not what I thought it was. Oh, y'all around for like the potato shoe epidemic? Like, I think I was in elementary or middle school when it really just popped off. But y'all, they came back and they came back with a vengeance. I 
cannot wait. And I got mine platform because I'm a five foot girly. It just adds like that extra inch of fashion. You know what I mean? I just, I don't know. I love it. I cannot wait to wear these with like leggings and tall socks. Anyways, I have rheumatoid arthritis and for the last couple years, I've really been struggling to manage it. I just, I've, I've just at this point felt like chronic pain is my life. I do have one more pair of shoes. I think I'm supposed to have three. Maybe one of, I think one of them didn't show up in time, but um, I just thought like chronic pain is who I am now. Like I just thought like my wrist is just never gonna be back to normal again. Like I'm, I'm just always gonna suffer. And you guys, like it has been debilitating pain. Holding my cell phone or washing a dish or doing simple things like holding a glass, like things that shouldn't be so hard. I just, I have not been able to do. I can't even do, like I can do it with this wrist. You know when you like lean back and you put like weight on your wrist? I, I can't do that and I haven't been able to do it for however long. Like I just subconsciously have to do this now. And it has just been, it's been so, so, so bad. But you know, in the last like, I guess, week and a half that I started doing dietary changes, I have just never seen such a difference in my wrist. And I, and I have to thank a lot of you guys because y'all have been with me on this journey. Y'all have been helping me, giving me lots of tips. And a lot of you guys told me like, girl, you should be going gluten-free. I know you've also recommended dairy-free, but I, I just haven't made, haven't made that transition yet. I don't know if I will or won't, but in that week and a half, I have never seen such a difference in my wrist. Like I was in full blown tears. Like I, I think for like days I would just start crying like happy tears because I was finally getting such relief, like such relief, like relief I never thought would happen. Okay, so this was a shoe I was talking about where I did all white in this pair. I think these are so cute. They're kind of like a Converse dupe and I love Converse. I love Converse. I love Vans. I think I saw like somebody from like Gen Z saying like Vans were out. Like you, you can always tell a millennial and I, you know what? I don't care. Y'all keep your vape pens and I will keep my Vans. I don't care, but look how cute these are. I think these are the ones that I'm missing the other pair because I, I also picked them up in black, but I did like not the Converse. They don't really have like a logo or anything, which I love. I hate when, when things try to dupe other things and then they have like 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 those um, those Uggs I got from Timu that I showed you where it says like UGQG. Just don't put a label. Just don't put a label. I'm not trying to fool anybody. Just don't put a label. But these are like half the price of Converse. That's why I was able to get two pairs for the price of less than one. But I just think those are adorable. Anyways, I was finally getting such good relief. Now there was still minor pain. Like the pain wasn't completely gone away, but that was, that has worked more for me than any medication that I have, that I've tried thus far. Like it has actually just, it's just changed my life. And I, and I, I just, I, I, I didn't know that I could live a life without just severe pain all the time. And then, <laughs> And then fast forward, this one already has like a, a slit in it. Fast forward to now, I got sick. I got sick again, again, which I just got to take my Humira last last week, which I don't even know at this point if the methotrexate and Humira are working. I know the methotrexate on its own did not work, but I don't really know because it's just been such a disaster since trying to start the Humira journey. Ooh, I love this. Oh, you guys, I love this. Look how cute this is. It's like an oversized boyfriend tee. I have something weird about t-shirts that I don't like fitted t-shirts where they sit under my armpits. I don't know why, it just makes me sweat profusely. I don't like clothes that hug my armpit. Can anybody at all, can anybody at all relate to me on that? I actually heard that this material was very similar to the Skims boyfriend t-shirt, which I don't own that one, so I can't, Confirm nor deny, but, oh, why does it say extra large? I don't think I ordered an extra large in anything, unless this is not what I'm thinking it is. Maybe this isn't what I'm thinking it is, but regardless, 10 out of 10, I would like that. So, I don't know if y'all saw my last, my last uh, video that I did, but also in that, I started getting like a really weird reaction to my Humera, and I haven't gotten a chance to call uh, my doctor's office yet to be like, is this normal? Now I did look up on the website and it said that's a common side effect, but it, it didn't say like, is it is it normal? Like, should I still be concerned? I have no idea. But obviously now that I'm sick again, <laughs> I am supposed to take my methotrexate today, but we won't be doing that because you don't wanna suppress your immune system 
even even further down I'm doing like a white a white check to see is this is this gonna be see-through I don't I don't know if this is gonna pass the see-through vibes or not. I have tattoos, so I can always tell. I, I, I don't like when the girlies are like, it's not see-through. And then I put it on and I can straight up see my tattoos through it because the tattoo thing is like the full, is the full moment when you really know. But you guys, regardless of that, I love, I love. These are like my favorite pants to wear. I think they are so fun to style. They're kind of like a little like, is it puffer pant? Is that the right word? I don't I don't know. It's kind of like a cargo puffer where it like cuffs at the ankle. These are so fun to wear like with like my Doc Martens. I know this style might not be for everybody, but this is just, oh, love it. Oh, I'll just drool. I just love it so much. So yeah, I'm, I'm basically, now that I'm sick again, I don't want to take my methotrexate and suppress my immune system. But also I think the flare up because I am, <laughs> uh, this is kind of the point I've been trying to make is I am, flaring up again and it's all it looks better than it did yesterday so um i don't know if y'all can see that it hurts it hurts so bad i can't that's as far as this one will bend so it's it's better than it was yesterday yesterday was again like this also i'm not sure why three of these were not in like a an amazon pack i must have already opened it on my thing and just didn't remember. I know Allie hates when people open packages with like scissors instead of like a box cutter, like especially boxes and stuff. So girly, this one's, this one's for you. I don't know, something so soothing about just like taking these and I with a box, I love it. Anywho, this is what I think is called a predictable flare up. So I think there's like two different kinds of flare ups, like predictable and unpredictable and predictable would be considered like something like when you're sick because what happens is your body. You say hi. You guys say hi. Ugh, y'all, I hate to admit this, but I have been back on the rescue sites, like looking at dogs, and I keep trying to tell myself, like, girl, you have five dogs. Like, you, ha you have five dogs. But another part of me, it just eats me alive. It eats me alive. I hate that these dogs are gonna spend Christmas in a shelter. Like, I just, oh, I hate it. When you're, when you get sick, your immune system goes up to try to fight, like, whatever you're sick with, but, uh, for somebody like me, where my immune system is is attacking my joints, it's really joint. I don't really have a lot of symptoms basically anywhere else. But where it attacks your, your joint is that when your immune system shoots up when you get sick, it immediately goes hard on the joint first and then on the sickness second. And that's why people like me, like when I had COVID the first time, I was sick for 14 days. And then the second time, I was sick for nine days. So that's why. So the fact that I was sick for just nine days... I got maybe like a week and a half done being sick, but I got my period, so I got cramps and all that good stuff in that time. And then now I'm sick again. It's just, it's just been so much fun. So much fun. Oh, woo. Oh, okay, I'm excited about this one. So what is her name? I cannot think of her name, but I watch this girl sometimes on Instagram and sometimes um, on TikTok. And I love her fashion. She just has like such cool, like edgy fashion. I'm not into as many of the bright colors as she is. I'm more of like a, a neutral type of gal, but like the fits are fitting, you know? And so I saw her wear these. She owns them in white and pink for sure. And I saw her wear these and I was like, I must have them. I actually bought two of them, but I think one of them was prime and the other wasn't. Oh, the, sh the straps are stretchy. I didn't, I didn't expect that. And, and they're adjustable I think okay a little bit of adjustment but I saw her wear these and I'm obsessed she wore these with like converse like kind of like this oh what a fit I fell in love and I was like I have to have them and they also have like that little that little ankle cuff and they are supposed to be like an oversized fit I'll try to put on the screen what size everything is because I really I don't even think these have a, a tag I think I also got them in black if I'm not mistaken and I think that was the color that wasn't that wasn't prime but another thing going on i don't know if you guys have heard of this but another reason is um my mom and my stepdad which he has been doing really good i guess i don't really need to cut this one 
Uh, he's completely over COVID, so he's doing so much better. And also my father-in-law is doing so much better, but we've been dealing with all the medical bills. They're, they're all being sent here. And it's just like bill after bill, after bill, after bill, after bill, after bill, and all that stuff. I don't know if any of you guys have ever had the emergency room fiasco of just like the bills that like just, they don't come in all at once. They just come and come and come. And then when you think you're done, they just keep showing up. So we've been dealing with that and then trying to get them over. Um, to the German insurance company. Uh, so that has been, that has been fun. Ooh, okay, so I bought these socks. I don't know if y'all, if y'all saw this video. Um, I did a Skims, like a little mini Skims unboxing of stuff that I got from them. And I got their, their slouch socks and I love them so much. I love them so much. I got them in the shade Bone. And then I was like wearing them and I was like, oh, I just love them. So I wanted to get some more. Now I will, I'll be, I'll be honest, like straight, straight away, you guys, the quality of the Skims one immediately better. I, I could tell straight away, but I mean, again, it's Skims. I did want to get some more. So I grabbed a pack of six. So it kind of has like this, this tan one, these red ones. I don't know if the camera picks it up. It's, it's, more greeny because like I feel like sometimes in the viewfinder it looks like it's a little bit more tan but they're definitely like a muted green and then I got white I got gray and I got black I just love this fit for the winter I'm, I'm totally into tall socks but anyways uh, my stepdad and my mom had called me like literally before I set the camera up to film and they were like we know why you're flaring up and I was like oh well it's because I'm sick like I already know that and they were like no 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 it, I mean it could be, but also because there is a really bad solar flare going right now. So I guess it's it's in the red, which I might be butchering some of those. So I, I apologize for that. And I think it's supposed to end tomorrow. But I guess when these happen, like they they can affect your body. Like they they the hospitals and they they see more doctors visits around this time. But also you start getting headaches and stuff, which I've actually been having headaches and migraines. And I'm not usually a headache migraine girly. And I had kind of just said, oh, it's because I'm not really doing gluten right now. So when I cut out gluten, I just assumed that this is kind of coming, like the headaches and stuff are coming from not having gluten and also not not having like sugars or as much sugars and stuff. So I had just said like, oh, that's why. But then they said, no, this also can be affecting you, which I fully believe in that stuff because your body does react to the way the world is. I mean, just think like the moon controls the tides and you think that the universe and the world and mother nature doesn't impact you living on here. Kind of crazy, like kind of crazy if you don't think that, but to each their own. Some people think the world, the world is flat. So do you boo boo, if you ain't hurting nobody, go off. But ooh, okay, cute. This kind of feels a little bit like my my, my Skims bodysuit material. I wanna say my Skims one is like slightly softer. I wish I had it with me, with me to compare because I kind of feel like this is a very close material to that, but this one is so so cute. So it's like a thong bodysuit. I feel like the name of the game to really looking fall, winter ready is layering. Layer, layer, layer. I think that's really what can take your outfit from just looking blah to like really styling it is layering stuff. Last bag. What is this one? Oh, I think this was the one that they were saying is kind of like the, the skims boyfriend tea. I don't think it was this one. I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna feel the, the difference in material. So I think it's probably just a combination of everything, but you guys, I am super, super, super hopeful that once I get over this and then I just keep sticking with the dietary changes that I'm gonna get back to normal because that is the most hope I've had. Y'all, like, I just, I can't tell you, like, I, full tears, full stop tears I, I have been in just because it was like, wow, I don't have to be in chronic pain. Okay, the material is, is worlds different, worlds different. So I think this is the one that they said is like more similar to the Skims boyfriend tee. They have this one because this one definitely feels like more cotton and it's like not really stretchy. And then this one feels more kind of like a silky feeling and definitely has has some stretch on it. I think I was trying to get this in white and black and then the black sold out and that's why I went with this. But honestly, I'll, I'll still be rocking both because I do love a good a good um, black tee. I was I was actually hoping to fly tomorrow. I don't know if that's if that's even going to be a possibility anymore because I really 
Um, my flying has just suffered in the last few things. I actually kind of appreciate you guys for hanging out with like more of my hauls and my, my at-home content lately, just because like, I don't like to fly when I'm sick. You can bust your eardrums out, but also it's, it's, it's rude to do. It is rude and I know people do it all the time. That's most likely how I'm in the position I'm in right now, even though I know on, on the last trip I just worked, I wore gloves the whole time, but I really didn't do much. I, I spent basically the day by myself and just hung out with myself. So I feel like that's pretty much the only spot outside of the grocery store that I could have gotten sick. So I know people are gonna do what they're gonna do and it, it is what it is, I guess. But um, yeah, you, you kind of just hope that people wouldn't. But yeah, I don't even know if flying tomorrow is gonna be a possibility. After I get off with you guys, I'm gonna be resting and relaxing and I'm gonna try to take some day quill and some stuff and just see how I feel tomorrow and, and go from there. If not, I'll just I'll have to wait. I'll have to wait. <laughs> Ew, okay. This is luscious, you guys. I don't know what I expected on this, but this was not it. This feels expensive. This feels like, I can't really smell right now. So I don't think it has a smell, but <laughs> But I don't know if I can be trusted. But you guys, this material is sick. Is sick. Oh, oh, I think it's actually picking up on camera. I think in the viewfinder, this is this is doing the thing. Oh, I love that. I love that. I thought this was gonna be such a fun coat. I love trench coats and I like layering them and stuff. And this one looks so expensive this could easily be like a five six hundred dollar jacket easily i am i am i am wow wow i hope this wears as good as it looks and feels anyways that's uh how things have been going lately i'm hoping maybe tomorrow or saturday i'll get to fly again because also the christmas markets are opening up and while i was talking to a, my mom and stepdad on the phone we were also talking about maybe doing a couple things here that are, are that are starting. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog them or not. I, I guess I'll have to just wait and see, but first things first, I gotta get over being sick, <laughs> being sick again, and then we'll kind of pivot and go from there. Hopefully December though, December, December, C come through December, come through, because hopefully in December, I won't get sick and then we can do so many fun Christmas things and be traveling and do some fun Christmas things here. We haven't even put our Christmas decor up. I did this Target Christmas haul. Oh, so much good stuff. So much good stuff. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But I did that huge, massive Christmas haul from Target and I was hoping to put all the Christmas decor up with my in-laws while they were here. But then just, we all know how that went. If, if you don't know, go, go watch the videos, but we all know how that went down. So. We didn't get our Christmas stuff up. So we still have like the pumpkins and things right now still up, but um, I think Chip and I, at least the two of us, will get to put up our, our decor. It'll be our first year with the decor up. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, if you wouldn't mind giving it a big old thumbs up and pressing that subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Bye.